what is the easiest tool to start a podcast with? And this, I'm going to say in the year 2022, this is recorded at the end of the end of 2021. So for all intents and purposes, this is 2022 that we're talking here. I think Anchor FM is the easiest tool, but it's not necessarily the best. Okay. <laughs> the, it's the easiest tool because it, it's, it has, I think, a great app for record. Like I actually now record my podcast in it's in the app on the phone. And that's why I, I give it this, this review and this um, recommendation and so forth is that I started Elliot's podcast with the using a microphone. Uh, I forget. I think I have a Sennheiser. I'm pretty sure a condenser microphone that I was going to use for music stuff anyway. So it wasn't just a voice microphone. And I found that it was just too much work to set it up. And then when I was away one weekend, I tried the Anchor app to record an episode and I ended up enjoying it. So I kept doing it that way. And now actually what I do is I download the audio the app records the audio, but then I can go into the web browser and grab the audio file and then I can mix it with, if I play one of my songs, I can play it in Ableton and, and do the, make sure the volume doesn't jump. Uh, if you if you were very keen on a Spotify only audience, you could even have music from Spotify play in your show. But that would, um, I think that would... I don't like that because I, I personally use Overcast to listen to podcasts. So I just wouldn't want to have a show where it had to be on Spotify only, but it could be a good promotional trick with an artist to just do shows that are Spotify only and use that tool. I think it's Anchor, though, is overall a risky tool for anyone else who is not up for the, the fun of experimenting because we, we don't really know what will happen if there could be ads placed in your episode, like in your show later on, not just uh, at the front and back of the episode. Anything's possible, especially if you use their tool and there's in, in the segments are divided in the and they know when a song ended and when you come back on and speak. Overall, though, I don't like to think that way in terms of of doomsday scenarios and future proofing your project because it's just you're gonna be you're gonna go crazy spending time um, thinking about am I going to be able to switch my podcast over to another provider later on? I think for me the the challenge has been just getting it going, having fun with it, and showing up to record. So by that those metrics, I think Anchor has done a fantastic job for helping me do that. But it's um, definitely not who I would recommend everyone use for, for doing their their podcast. So check out the different options you have out there. And um, but don't don't necessarily discard Anchor because it's easy or because it's owned by Spotify. You never know. It might just be the tool that, that gets the whole project going. And, and that's uh, sometimes the most important thing when, when I look for what tool to, to use. So, yeah, let me know what you think, if you agree, if you've tried Anchor and if you've been happy with it or you suggest some other tool as well. I'm, I'm interested to hear. Okay, take care.